So if you look at Rama's life, he lost his kingdom. His kingdom was taken away, though he was rightfully coronated as a king. His wife was taken away. Later in his life, his children were taken away. Normally for most human beings, if any one of these things happen, they will be broken for life. But here is a man, though all these things happened and he stood up to do the karma that he has to do, even to the extent of fighting battles, but never conquered by angst or animosity or anger. It is for this reason that we are bowing down to him. He is not a super success, it's a series of disasters. In spite of this disastrous life, the negativity cannot conquer him. He is free from these things. It is this one quality for which we are bowing down to him. So what does Rama Rajya mean? Is it about <laughs> going back to bow and arrow times? No. It is about the values, the fundamental ethic that one should hold. When other people come under your influence, leaders who keep their personal well-being aside for people's welfare, this is Rama. Willing to sacrifice personal goals for the larger good, that is Rama. To address all negativity with equanimity and grace, that is Rama. No matter at what cost to establish the rule of law or dharma, that is Rama. A constant striving to improve oneself, to be able to serve better every moment of your life, that is Rama. And if leaders aspire to become this, if they do anustana on these qualities, there shall be Rama Rajya. When I say leaders, don't just think about political and military leaders or that sort. If you have just one more life upon which you can influence, if your influence is on one life or ten lives or a million lives or a billion lives, if you have the ability to influence and be a power upon another life, you must follow these five principles and you must create Rama Rajya wherever you are. The world throws many things at you. Entire life is full of disasters coming his way, one after another, but he is not ruled by those disasters. Those outside situations does not decide who he is, he decides who he is. This is the essence of being an ultimate human being, that the outside will not decide who you are, you decide who you are.